Hey guys, it's JZTronics and today I'm going to show you how to set up your DJI Phantom 3 with an application. Currently it's only available for Android, but the steps will be the same for iOS. Now I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4, but let's get started. Go ahead and navigate to the DJI website, I'll have a link in the description, or you can use this picture to scan the code. Now you can use any QR code reading application, and once scanned you should get a link. Go ahead and click OK. After that you should be navigated to a file downloading. Go ahead and click Accept or OK and it should begin downloading. Once you installed it, go ahead and open up your controller, place your tablet within and secure it. Next you're going to want to take your USB plug it into your tablet and take the other end and plug it into the back USB port of the controller. After installing it you want to make sure your developer option is shown and the way to go about that is by tapping on build number several times and you should be in developer option. After seeing developer option, you want to make sure USB debugging is checked. Next, you want to make sure that your phantom battery is fully powered. Next, you want to make sure that your camera gimbal clamp is completely out. And the little white piece, just in case you missed it, must be removed from back there behind. And lastly, you want to make sure your props are unscrewed. Next, go ahead and turn on your controller by clicking once, checking the battery level, and then clicking and holding to make sure you power it on. You'll get a message on your tablet. If you want to allow it, you want to go ahead and click that and OK. Next, power up your phantom by clicking once and holding. You want to make sure you have a green light on your controller, which means that you have a solid good connection with the Phantom. Next, go ahead and open up your DJI application. Upon opening it, you see that you have Director, Store, and User Center, and here pops up the activation screen, which you will need to set up your Phantom 3. So we'll go ahead and type this up. Now I'm going to be typing this up for my friend, I'm setting this up. So let's go ahead and enter B O B and we'll do P uh, 3 P for Phantom 3 Pro. We'll keep it as that. Hopefully you don't mind Bob. Alright, once you've done setting a name you want to go ahead and click next and you want to customize your setting. Feel free to adjust this to any way you'd like. I'll customize it to my preferences and click next. Finally, next is the beginner mode. You can have this checked or unchecked for the video. I'll leave it checked. Upon clicking next, you want to confirm your accounts. Go ahead and enter your email address. You can also do this in the user center. Once you do that, you're going to click activate now. Upon clicking it, you will start to see an activation screen of the controller bouncing up and down and it'll say activated successfully. Next you want to make sure that you're on the latest firmware which you should be if you downloaded it from the DJI website. And you're more than welcome to play around with any of these. There should be more updates coming in such as the YouTube live streaming stuff. So that's pretty much it. Currently it's only available for Android which is on version 1.1.0 there is still no word yet as to when it will be available on iOS, but we are going to be waiting. But this is something for you to kind of get familiar with in advance until we're waiting for it to come out on iOS. Some of the confirmed devices that I've personally used is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 as you see in the video and a Nexus 7 2013. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. And until next time, this is GZ Chonix and I'll catch you guys later.